Let's face it, bikes are not cheap. So once you've made your purchase and investment, it's a good idea to look after it to ensure it lasts as long as possible. Coming up are a few tips to help you do just that. The first and most obvious thing is to regularly clean your bike. Now, if you leave things like dirt or water or grit or oil or even salt from the road sitting on your bike for days or weeks on end, it's not going to do it any good at all. And let's face it, doing a good job of cleaning it is not particularly difficult. All you're gonna need is a bucket, some water, a sponge, bike-specific brush, and very decent bike cleaner and you'll be able to do a very thorough job indeed. Then once you've washed it, all you need to do is dry it down. An old towel is perfect for that job to prevent anything going rusty and then just lube the moving parts such as the chain, jockey wheels, etc., with some bike specific product like this. Now we do understand that those of you living in an apartment do find it hard to find a space to clean your bike. But we've had loads of photos from viewers showing that they clean their bikes in their bath or their shower. However, we would recommend checking with your partner or family before you do this, before you get yourself into lots of trouble. Now, along with lubricating your chain and some of the other moving parts in the drivetrain, there are other parts on the bike which will need grease or some kind of grip paste. So I'm thinking things like the hubs, the headset bearings here, or the grip paste that you can put down on a carbon seat post to stop it seizing, and also in the threads of things like pedals as well. Now, you can prolong the grease lifespan by avoiding jet spraying directly towards these parts. But even if you do avoid doing that, it's still not a bad idea every so often to take them apart, clean them, and reapply some new grease just to make sure they're all working properly and last as long as possible. Now, we've got a whole host of videos here at GCN on our maintenance playlist, which will really help you in this regard. Now, the next thing that you can do to prolong the lifespan of your bike is to use a torque wrench. You might be wondering how, but I'm about to explain. Now, these are becoming increasingly important when it comes to tightening bolts on lightweight components and particularly carbon components, because over-tightening these parts can lead to extra stress, which ultimately, in a worst case scenario, can lead to complete component failure, which is, of course, the last thing that you want to happen when you're out riding your bike. Now, the good news is that you can pick up something like this pretty cheaply on the market these days, and it should last you a very long time indeed. Another thing to watch out for with lightweight frames and particularly carbon frames is any kind of bike rack or bike stand which clamps around the tubes. The top tube here, the down tube or the seat tube. Now carbon frames are only designed to be strong in the direction that they need to be when you're out riding and not when something is clamping around it. That can lead to the tube being crushed or squashed. So what we would recommend is buy one of the stands like the pro mechanics use, whereby the forks go into the dropouts at the front and the stand then supports it underneath the bottom bracket here. However, if you do have to use some kind of stand like this one, then we'd recommend clamping it at the saddle, not tightening it too much, and also adding some kind of cushioning so that you've got less chance of squashing the seat post. You also want to make sure that you change and renew your chain at regular intervals. And that's because over time, when you ride your bike, the chain will stretch slightly and wear, and in turn, it will then wear the chain rings and also the cogs here at the rear cassette. What that means is that eventually you're gonna to have to replace the whole lot, which is gonna be far more expensive than replacing the chain every so often. Now, there are a few ways to measure the chain wear, and we've got a video which shows you how to do just that. You can find a link to it in the description just below this video. Now, just as if you let your bike stay muddy and mucky after a ride, it won't do it any good. Also, riding down particularly mucky or gritty roads will wear all the components out far quicker. So, when the weather's grim, if you've got an option, try riding on some slightly cleaner roads. And if there's no option, what you could do is invest in a much cheaper bike to use on days when the weather's not so good, which will mean that you keep your best bike in much better nick. Right, we're going to leave you with three more suggestions, which almost go without saying. First up, whenever you leave your bike in a public place, make sure that you lock it up securely. And we're not saying that your bike won't last a long time if it's stolen, it's really not much good to you if it's in somebody else's hands. Secondly, try to avoid crashing. Lightweight carbon frames such as this one really aren't designed to take huge knocks. So a crash could hurt your wallet 
just as much as it hurts your body. And finally, try to keep your bike stored indoors or at least under cover. Leaving it outside and exposed to the elements is only going to speed up the aging process of the bike as rust starts to set in. Now, if you would like to see our video which shows you how to do a really good 30 minute thorough bike wash, you can find that just in the top corner there. Meanwhile, just in the bottom corner is our advice on how to use a torque wrench. Oh, and you might want to subscribe to the channel. It's free. There's going to be loads more videos just like this with plenty of advice. And all you've got to do is click on the GCN logo somewhere in this box.